Two and a half years ago, I said something crazy. It, it was along the lines of this. The G7 will be able to connect directly to your phone, your pump, and also your smartwatch all at the same time. Now, five years ago, you'd have called me nuts to say such a thing. And, and 10 years ago, 10 years ago, you probably would have sneezed cereal through your nose or something crazy like that. Hold, hold on to your cereal. I've got some good news for you. In fact, one of those things is now available and it's called Direct Watch. And today we're talking about it and we're setting it up. Hey everyone, I'm Ben. Welcome back to the Type Me channel where I share with you my experiences utilizing tech for my diabetes journey. Now, first things first, uh, we need to talk about the elephant in the room called Direct Watch. Now, if you didn't know, Dexcom's Direct to Watch feature is currently the only, yep, I said only, CGM smartphone combination that speak directly to each other without the use or need of your cell phone. Now, not only that, but according to the Dexcom G7's facts page, links below, compatible watches won't even need a cellular connection. Yes, you heard me right. They will not need to be connected to the cellular network. Now this means if you're an active person like me and you like to go for a run, walk, or cycle, and you want to take no phone, just your earbuds and your sensor, you can do so now. I have tried it and it does work, mostly. I will cover that in my review, so look for that video very soon. Now you may say, hey Ben, uh, I hate running and I don't think I'm gonna need this. Well, I have a secret for you. Uh, I hate running as well, um, but I forced myself to do it because I'm weird and well, uh, it's a fast way to burn calories. And today is 4th of July and um, cheeseburgers are gonna happen, maybe margaritas. So burning calories is a plus, but maybe you're not a runner, maybe you're not a cycler or you don't like to walk that much. You're not an active person. Well, there are other reasons why you might need a direct connection. Battery life, does your battery on your phone ever go low throughout the day, toss it on the charger and walk away. Doesn't matter. You have a direct connection without your phone. Or perhaps you have a child who has a need to devour countless of hours of uh, cocoa melon uh, using your smartphone as they run around the house untethered. Doesn't matter because your direct connection is going to work without the proximity of your phone being necessary or required. So to be clear, the battery left on your phone and the distance you are from it doesn't matter anymore. You're no longer tethered. There are no strings to hold you down. I got no strings to hold me down to make me fret or make me frown. So let's set it up. All right, so I've prepared two setup methods uh, for this feature because there are people who are now using the Dexcom G7 and notice this pop up. And there are people who are now getting the Je Dexcom G7 for the first time, and uh, they wanna know how to set it up as well. So we're gonna go through both. I'm quickly gonna cover my experience and uh, how I enabled the feature on my existing Dexcom G7 sensor. And then I'll walk through the initial setup for all of you newbies. Now, if you use a Dexcom G7 CGM with a compatible watch, those links are also gonna be in the description. You may have seen a strange new icon on your watch face um, that looks like a, a phone. It's a small white phone. Here's a clip of what I saw. It looked like a small white phone at the top of the corner. And when you click on it, it allows you to scroll down and then it prompts you to set up direct to watch. Now this means that the device that you have has successfully updated the required software and is now capable of utilizing this feature. Now, alternately, when you open up the phone app, um, I saw this message. Go hands-free with direct to Apple Watch. The learn more then takes you to the Dexcom's facts page. So let's start this process by opening up the Dexcom G7 watch and phone apps together. So from your phone, click on this icon called connections and then direct to watch. A requirements page will pop up that will verify that you have a compatible watch and software. 
click the get started button you're going to encounter a few tutorials here i suggest watching them uh, but for the sake of this video i'll summarize a few uh, setup tutorials in a sec here and then uh, a few tips and tricks towards the end of this video so after you've finished your tutorials you'll be prompted to open up the g7 app on your watch now, when I opened up my watch, uh, I noticed that it started a sensor search via Bluetooth. Now, I eventually found this sensor and then prompted me to tap the open button. It also gave me a pairing request. So scroll down from here and click pair. The green check mark indicates a successful sensor pairing with your watch. Now from here, you'll notice that the phone icon has disappeared, meaning that the pairing is complete. To verify this, go ahead and open up your phone G7 app and click connections at the bottom. And you'll notice below the direct to watch tab now indicates your pairing status. So congratulations, you've paired your watch and your sensor for the first time. Now, what if this is your first G7 sensor? I got you. Let's set this up. The new sensor process is even simpler. Insert your new sensor and pair it with your phone according to the instructions or how you normally do it. Now pairing your new sensor directly to your watch during sensor warmup is not allowed. However, since your watch is still connected to your phone, you can now check your watch to view the time remaining until the sensor is actually paired and completed. Now, after sensor to phone pairing has been completed, I opened up my watch and I found a notification that the sensor was not paired with the watch. So I clicked this little tab up here and I clicked pair watch with the sensor. The watch will then begin searching for the sensor. And that was at 10.07. Three minutes later, at 10.10, a Bluetooth pairing request came in. I scrolled down and I clicked pair. Now the watch immediately took me to the main page. And you'll notice that the phone icon is now gone. This means you successfully connected your G7 sensor directly to your watch. Again, congratulations. As promised, here's a couple tips for you, but first, this message. Hey, if you're a type 1, type 2, Monty, or Lada, and content like this, specific for active diabetics, is important to you, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and I will do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. So after setup, if you see the small orange phone icon pop up, this represents a disconnection between your watch and your sensor. That's a Bluetooth connection and this may happen randomly for tons of different reasons and I'll cover that in my review. It's actually only happened to me a few times. So to fix this, just bring your phone back into proximity with your sensor. When the orange phone disappears, your direct to watch connection has been reestablished. Now one thing a lot of people like to do is to save some watch battery by force quitting apps. Never force quit the watch app, Dexcom G7 watch app, because doing so will actually cut your direct to watch connection. And this will cause your readings to fail. So fix this by just reopening the Dexcom G7 watch app on your watch again, and then allowing it to reconnect. So Dexcom share, this is a big question a lot of my viewers have, is the direct to watch connection gonna work for Dexcom share? Yes, but not yet. So if you don't know, Dexcom Share allows you to send your Dexcom CGM readings using the Share app to another person who has the Dexcom Follow app so that they can view your numbers. And according to Dexcom G7 Direct to Watch landing page, um, there are plans to include this feature in the future, so look out for that. Oh, and don't forget that the sensor session ends every 10 days. And so remember to pair your direct to watch after setting up each new sensor. In fact, after setting up your sensor, you should receive a prompt on your watch to do so. So if you have the Dexcom G7 and Apple Watch and are using direct to watch, 
I'd love to know what you're using it for because I want to try that stuff out. Um, either way, thank you for joining me today. I'm Ben, I'm Type Me, and I'll see you next time.